On September 27, the Israeli occupation assassinated the Secretary General of the Islamic Resistance in Lebanon, Martyr Sayyid Hassan Nasrallah. Following this crime, the Israeli occupation forces announced the launch of a ground operation into South Lebanon. The logic was that the Lebanese resistance was at its weakest after a series of Israeli assassinations and terror attacks in Lebanon. Now, the operations began with more than 1,500 airstrikes across Lebanon, and it was claimed then that these strikes weakened the resistance's arsenal. After that, Israeli troops began their attempted march into Lebanese territories, with photo ops showing soldiers planting a flag and posing next to municipality buildings. Of course, it was later revealed that these photos were taken merely meters away from the border and framed to give the illusion of success. Again, the Israeli occupation thought that the Lebanese resistance was weakened. The main objective of the operations was that Israeli settlers would be able to return to their illegal settlements in northern Palestine. Now against all odds, Hezbollah's rockets never ceased to sound their sirens across the Israeli settlements reaching Tel Aviv. The resistance shocked not only Israel but the entire world with its swift recovery. On a daily basis, dozens of operations were conducted against Israeli targets of all kinds, including several painful ambushes against invading Israeli troops in South Lebanon. And now, a bit more than a month into the commencement of the operation, the IOF says that more than 40 of its troops were killed. But in reality, the number is expected to be higher, judging previous Israeli censorship of military losses, with the resistance putting the number closer to 100 killed and 900 wounded, which makes more sense as Israeli officials are discussing similar numbers in private. Additionally, at least 40 tanks have been destroyed at the Lebanese border and yet another scene reminiscent of the 2006 July war in which Israeli tanks were decimated. Not to mention the downing of Israeli reconnaissance drones and forcing Israeli fighter jets to leave Lebanese airspace with surface-to-air missiles. And to make matters worse for the Israeli operation, the Islamic resistance has warned Israeli settlers to evacuate 25 settlements in northern occupied Palestine in retaliation to Israel's forced displacement of civilians across Lebanon. And as promised, rockets and drones are pummeling these settlements. So to get the facts straight, one month into the ground operation, the Israeli occupation has not gotten any closer to achieving any of its goals. It did not compromise Hezbollah's ability to defend Lebanon and did not return its settlers to the north. Just like in Gaza, the Israeli occupation continues to terrorize civilians to hide its inability to achieve its military goal. And meanwhile, the resistance continues to confront the Israeli occupation forces and deal significant damage against them, despite the difficult circumstances and the Israeli air force's incessant airstrikes.